After a two hour flight delay, and then a two hour drive going west of Dallas, Texas, I had no idea what to expect. I saw deer in the middle of the night, and I said to myself, what could actually be so far out in the country here in, in Texas? And I ran into Ox Manufacturing, and I thought, what are we gonna see when we step inside? Well, we're gonna see some state-of-the-art manufacturing with three brand new automated Kitamura systems. Who would have thunk it out here in the middle of nowhere? But you get to come inside and see what's going on. Dave is already waiting. Started in 2019, Ox Manufacturing has exploded and expanded from building to building to building. So let's get inside, learn a bit more about Dave and why he decided to continually invest and upgrade to those Kitamuras. Dave, first and foremost, let me thank you. Thank you so much for opening your doors. So excited to be here and seeing your growth. I have to just take a pause and shake your hand. So very proud of you. Welcome to Ox, Tony. I see three Kitamura machines and I know that you've invested and grown so quickly since 2019 and seen the development and growth here. Why, Dave? Why Kitamura? What has Kitamura brought to the table for you? Well, we got into automation. We wanted to get into automation. We were running a lot of three and four axis smaller mills. And the volume of our parts started growing and the inability to find uh, employees, which has been a challenge uh, for the last few years, we thought, well, we need to be able to run three shifts. How do we do that? Um, we looked at uh, multiple different um, machine manufacturers and Kitamura was one of the only companies that had a pallet system built by Kitamura. Uh, we've had a lot of experience with machines and other pallet systems that weren't necessarily the same brand and there was some communication tie-in issues. And we thought, well, a pallet system is, is really the direction we want to go that's enclosed one machine, one pallet system. So we bought the machine, uh, we got it up and running. The uh, pallet system showed up, I want to say about two months later, we got that going and the amount of throughput that, that comes off that machine is just incredible. We're able to run 22 hours without anybody touching that machine. So we can run all week long and all into Saturday. And if we have to bring somebody in on Saturday to load, it takes four hours to load the pallet system to run another 22 hours unmanned. It's, it, you've hit so many points that are invaluable and thank you so much for saying it because automation is key. Automation to be able to run 22 hours is key and you mentioned growing through three and four, four axis. So we can throw a Cobot on there and Cobot has great automation capabilities, but there's a difference between a Cobot and a full blown pallet changer as you've gotten into this world. 2021 was the first investment. You've now moved into two more. Everything you believe to be true has come to fruition? It has. So uh, what we like about the Kitamura One is about the 22 hours of runtime. We have some cobots and stuff in the facility and we get lights out with those, but we don't get that, that much, right? And so the throughput again, uh, the speed of the machine, that was one of the big selling points. Uh, Kitamura is one of the faster horizontal machining centers out there, so that's one of the reasons we chose it. Uh, we do exclusively aluminum in these machines. That won't always be the case. When machine four shows up, which will probably be sometime in July, uh, and then we'll be adding a pallet system to machine three. What we found to be a, one of the biggest benefits on the Kitamura was we, one of our big customers had unloaded a lot of parts onto us. We knew we were gonna need some more capacity. So we bought another Kitamura and brought it in. And our first Kitamura wasn't 100% populated because it's really hard to populate a horizontal machining center with eight pallets when you're trying to run production too. So it, it's a really challenging. So we dropped a tombstone in, in a, we're gonna call it Kitamura 2 and we built the fixture place on its own tombstone on a pallet that came out of the other pallet system. We lifted it off, put it in Kitamura 1, and did a real quick check. And I think we were five decimal points out on accuracy from one machine to the other. And I remember looking at my engineer and we were like, no way. So we just 
pulled that pallet in, loaded it full of parts, and hit play, and we got good parts first run. So that's when we said, okay, this is the direction we're going. So we promptly ordered a third machine. A pallet system showed up now for Kitamura 2. All the tooling for Kitamura 2 will be made in Kitamura 3. We'll populate that machine in probably, I don't know, four to six weeks. That machine is already slated to be 100% capacity out on one family of parts. And then the pallet system shows up for this in, in July and we will also bring in another horizontal, do the same thing. And I know we're gonna to talk to one of your machinists before too long to get their perspective of actually running the machine based on the idea of investing into this whole kit of your line. But something you said that I think is, is really beneficial, but I wanna get your perspective on it, is you mentioned, we invested in the first, we're getting it running, we believe in the precision. I've been to the Kitamura factory in Japan. I know the time that they put into the hand scraping and the grinding and making sure that it's perfect. The heavier castings for vibration dampening, the precision of the spindles themselves to give you that micron precision like you're looking to get. But you mentioned something, you said, in just a few weeks, in just a few months, we're gonna add a palette change to this one. Kitamura is unique in itself to allow you to say, when you are ready, we want you to invest in our machine, but then you can add on more tooling. Then right. you can add on a pallet chain system. How, how much of a, an interest in that conversation of, oh, I can do that later and I don't need to do it all right now today when I make that first investment. How much of that conversation was important to you knowing I can do add-ons later when I need it? Well, it was, it was one of the determining factors on the machine purchase, right? So there's there's linear pallet systems out there. Other other machine tools have pallet systems as well that they build themselves. Um, but I think the thing that really kind of shined about the Kinemura was we'd heard about some other people that were using them. Uh, the service that was promised to us uh, was huge. As you know, we're not close to much out here. <laughs> I recognize that during my drive. <laughs> right. So service is one of the our one of, probably one of our top two, right? We gotta have good service. And Campat Machine Tool said, hey, if you have a problem, we will have somebody out there in under 24 hours. We've had two problems since 2021. Both times they were out here inside that time window. So that promise has been met. That's huge for us. Um, which if that hadn't been the case. You know, I mean, that's we pro we wouldn't have shifted away from Kitamura, but it's a big it's a big thing for us. You know, we have to do a lot of things ourselves out here, and on some of our other equipment, our less expensive equipment, we can do stuff, right? You can't really fix a Kitamura yourself, and you got to have the good support system, which we do have. Dave, you said it better and more articulate than I could have ever said, but that is something we. We yell to the world, you gotta have service. You might sell one machine, but no further machines are coming if service is bad, especially in areas like you are in that we obviously know because you're not near. It's so amazing to hear that Cam Pat was able to support you and only two issues, even better, that there's only been two issues. And they were small. But, but they were there for that, yeah, and yeah. they were small. Now, we've got the why. We know now why you dove into it and the growth of this company. And again, that handshake, your growth, we at MTD, so grateful to be a part of it. I think we should now talk to your machinist, your operator, to see if their perspective varies from your investment perspective and see if we can get a little bit out of them as well. What do you say? Let's go find out. Yes, sir. James, James, James. Well, I just got done talking with your buddy Dave and uh, he told me why. He told me why they invested. Why Ox is like, we need, we need to upgrade. Once you upgrade, you got to find a machinist to be able to run these things. What has your experience been like with Kitamura? Uh, uh, Kitamura has been absolutely amazing. Uh, the ability to set it up once and then just continuously uh, get production out of it and run it for eight hours of the day and then get production all night long has just been absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of the most impressive things that I've seen is uh, we have, when we bought our second Kitamura, this pallet pull system wasn't set up all the way. And we loaded all of our pallets into the Kitamura, the second one, and machined all four faces, moved it over, it was within two tenths. Two tenths of a thou. So everything is, the accuracy is definitely there. The 
the ability to go from one machine to another like that and to not have any any downsides to it at all whatsoever. And my very first run, all my parts were pristine. So I use a global positioning programming for all these machines. So if, if one machine goes down, I can literally throw the pallets in another Kitamura and just get after it right back into production. Hey, that's incredible. It's exactly yeah, what yeah. I was hoping you would say, but I right. didn't know if you would. Right. That's the truth of these, these stories and so important. You said we can run for eight hours and then leave and then it can run all night long. All night long. We come in the morning, it's still running. Yeah, I mean, that in itself. And and when you come in, do you ever worry that you're going to walk into a, a situation where, you know, the entire night was scrapped because the precision wasn't there? No, absolutely not. We've, we've never had a full system malfunction to where we've had any scrap. Since since setup, and I don't I don't want to jinx it, but we've had zero scrap. So, <laughs> I love that you said I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, we've had zero scrap and and we've made thousands of parts. Wow. Thousands of parts a week and we've been running for two years after a setup and I've never made an adjustment. I think the story you're telling is so important to understand efficiency. Productivity. You've mentioned the precision. You've mentioned no scrap, which almost seems like I asked you to tell me a lie. Right. That's amazing because it's not. It's, uh, that is is beautiful to me. Has all of the efficiency, has all of the productivity, all of the flexibility, truly allowed you to to keep up with customer demand? I mean, I know you just yes. purchased two more, right. so I think that answers yes. Yes, but absolutely. Has it allowed you to keep up with the because the, the demand is we want it yesterday, right? right. Has it been able? to help you keep up? Yes, absolutely. If it was not for this eight pallet pallet pull system, we would not be able to keep up with the demand. If we were running these parts on a mill, our production would be half uh, or less than half. I mean, with 16 hours unmanned machining, uh, coming in the morning and just having done parts, if we load it up, get it ready to go, load a few more pallets throughout the day and it runs all night again, consecutively, every night. James, thank you so much for your time today. I know how much fun it can be to hop on camera as a machinist. I know how much you love being on camera today, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, my friends, thank you so much. I'm going to step outside because this has been one of those incredible stories in a location that's so unexpected. I'll see you outside in just a second. Well, that was incredible. After hearing from both Dave and James, it's easy to see why the investment was made. Reliability, automation, the need to find quality employees but having a skills gap, the importance of being able to support a customer and client base that has a high demand for productivity, the ability to run pretty much 24 seven and the reliability to walk away from the machine and no precision parts are coming off. We got three here right now, three kit of mirrors with a fourth one coming very soon and automation all over the place. This is a success story. This is what the world should see. This is what the US should see and how we can compete globally, effectively, efficiently and having the support coming from someone like Campat, that's amazing.